Hello and a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Textbooks for Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well this Saturday morning and last two days of the year left. I hope you will be able to make your resolutions in your new year. I'll quickly just share it so that everybody knows that we've started the session. Uh, just give me a minute. We are live. Now, these two parts are divided. Hai. This is actually inspired by uh, you know two of your readers. One is your Pearson's Guide, uh, which is like an outline to English literature, which you बताता है uh, कि इंग्लिश लिटरेचर को आप कैसे अच्छी तरह से कवर कर सकते हैं एंड सेकंडली एज अ रीडिंग मटेरियल एज अ प्री रीड मटेरियल फॉर टुडे एंड टुमारोस क्लास आई बी सेंडिंग यू अ पीडीएफ दिस इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर का पीडीएफ व्हिच इज यू नो अ पीडीएफ क्यूरेटेड बाय एलपीओ लैंग्वेज प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी सो आई विल शेयर दैट विद ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स अ वेरी लूसिड रीडिंग एंड स्पेशली आज की क्लास और कल की क्लास दोनों को जब आप देख रहे होंगे तो उसके साथ साथ ये पीडीएफ को रीड कर लीजिएगा मैं नीशा मैम टेस्ट बुक इंग्लिश लिटरेचर हसलर्स यूट्यूब टेलीग्राम चैनल पे ये पीडीएफ आप लोगों के साथ शेयर भी कर दूंगी तो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स जस्ट वेरी क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड गुड गुड आफ्टरनून देवशेष मीनाक्षी हिमांशी थैंक्स हिमांशी फॉर हेल्पिंग अस अंडरस्टैंड वो बेचारी ग्रुप पे मैसेज कर रही दैट यू नो इट्स रिटन एज टेन थर्टी वेर एज वी वॉज सपोज टू बी मीटिंग विद मैराथन एट नोन गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून मोटिवेशनल मशीन विष्णु शबनम अंजलि दिव्या जहान फिर आप नोन एवरीबडी चलिए देरी नहीं करते हुए फटाफट से स्टार्ट करते हैं क्योंकि जितना जल्दी हम स्टार्ट करेंगे उतना ही कंफर्टेबली हम लोग इसको टाइम से रैप अप कर पाएंगे आज का आपका एजेंडा क्या है हम आ, कुछ आइस ब्रेक का क्वेश्चन को देखेंगे पांच आइस ब्रेक का क्वेश्चन है आपके और उसके बाद हम लोग आउटलाइन ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर को स्टार्ट करेंगे ठीक है लेट्स वेरी क्विकली गेट स्टार्ट लेट्स वेरी वेरी क्विकली गेट स्टार्ट जल्दी से डाइव इन करते हैं लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट इट तो यहाँ पर आई विल या यहाँ पर आई विल गेट स्टार्ट एट ओवर मे बी फाइन लाइक हैंगिंग इन द मिडिल ओके I will be able to make out from my voice. I'm a little under the weather. I don't know how I got cold. Uh, so that was really surprising. चलिए देरी नहीं करते हुए फटाफट से start करते हैं और ये जो questions मैं आपको आज पे करके दे रही हूँ इसके अलावा पांच और और इनकी elaboration मैं आपको telegram platform पे दे दूँगी ठीक है telegram platform पे अब new years के बाद let's every day start with doing worksheets. हम लोग questions को practice किया करेंगे. Uh, let's just make it. Uh, मैं new year कुछ कुछ resolutions भी आप लोगों को लिख के देने वाली हूँ ठीक है चलो good afternoon Ranisha. Good afternoon ये आपका फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आ गया है दिस इज योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर ओवर हियर टेल मी व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर विलियम ब्लेक डेवलप्ड आइडियाज ऑफ प्रोलिफिक्स एंड डिवावरर्स प्रोलिफिक्स एंड डिवावरर्स ये जो उन्होंने आइडिया डेवलप किया था ये जो ब्लेकियन आइडिया है सो विलियम ब्लेक है डेवलप द आइडिया ऑफ प्रोलिफिक्स एज वेल एज डिवावरर्स ये इन्होंने कहां पे डेवलप किया है ये इन्होंने कहां पर डेवलप किया है विलियम ब्लेक इज अ सुई जेनेरिस एज वी नो राइट एंड ही इज ऑफ कोर्स डेवलपिंग दिस आइडिया व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओवर हियर 
I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah. So he is developing this idea. Very good. Very good. Very good. Look, uh, this kind of questions, often we forget to revise. Karna jate hai, but your exams have been asked. And they are being asked again. Right? Especially now, like your child, I think Sony has given me again the syllabus of MPPCS. Uh, uh, assistant professor exam. So uh, here, you know, all of these questions are also equally important. And what you see here, you are able to see most of you have got it right. These uh, prolific and devourers पूरा का पूरा आइडिया है वो मैरिज ऑफ हेवन एंड हेल में आ रहा है जस्ट लाइक like आपको आ, पता है कि वर्जिनिया वुल्फ अपने मॉडर्न फिक्शन के एनालिसिस के अंदर शी टॉक्स अबाउट मटेरियलिस्ट स्पिरिचुअलिस्ट या कॉनोटेशन डिनोटेशन ऐसे जो कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी आइडियाज होते हैं ना आपके ये आपके लिए बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाते हैं सो यू विल हैव टू कीप दैट इन माइंड ऑल टुगेदर सो व्हाट इज ही ट्राइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जैसे कि मैंने आपको कहा कि ये वाली जो क्वेश्चंस हम प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं इनकी थोड़ी बहुत इलैबोरेशन इनकी थोड़ी सी एक्सप्लेनेशन मैं आज आपको टेलीग्राम प्लेटफॉर्म पे दे दूंगी लेकिन आप जल्दी से एजेंडा को स्टार्ट करते हैं सो दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग एट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सरिलिज्म इज एसोसिएटेड विद सरिलिज्म किससे एसोसिएटेड है Uh, Samudrani and Rudra has asked a very interesting question. There's going to be a completely different module. This is what I was also talking about. So, foundation batch. Ke andar. Even on YouTube, uh, we, we have planned one uh, session. Our reading comprehension is actually a module when we are talking about the foundation batch, right? So, our reading comprehension is, but even for YouTube, I think we can see if we can, uh, you know, bring a module on that. So, that's a really good idea. Good afternoon, Pooja. I'm doing very well. Thanks so much for asking. Uh, so, here, surrealism is associated. Just like I told you that existentialism starts with Soreen Kierkegaard. And Kierkegaard's ideas are ideas that Martin Heidegger elaborates well. Elaborate Martin Heidegger was a student of Husserl. Yesterday, we had questions practiced. I hope you have studied existentialism well. Now, here you have to remember Sandri Britton. I see a lot of you writing different answers all together. So, surrealism is actually associated with charge beyond realism right so it is associated with andre britton and andre britton officially 1924 mein isko formulate kar rahe hain uh, ye aapke most important isms to aa jate hain unme se surrealism dadaism vorticism futurism ye sab to of course bahut hi important hai aur aapke uh, question bank pe puche bhi jate hain right so please remember that and like i said ye sare questions ka right prolifics devourers by william blake in uh, the marriage of heaven and hell ya phir surrealism by And miles to go before I sleep. Good afternoon, Liji. I think Liji or uh, FS students ko na, hum logo ko time batana chahiye. The time is 11.50. Then they'll be able to join on time. Huh, Liji? Liji mandatorily joins after 10 minutes or 8 minutes, huh? On a lighter note, of course. Uh, yes, absolutely right. So stopping by, I hope you remember that, stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening. We we did it also over here in this class. So this is Robert Frost. This was a no-brainer. Most of you have got it right. And these kind of questions still come, right? Like in 2014 also, this was asked in your examination. and keeps on uh, coming as well. Okay, moving on to the next question that you are having. This is the next question, which is again a very interesting question. Is the elaboration of the Telegram platform will be very good for you. Because every card, okay, every card, I have made a note and I will share those uh, elaborated points with all of you. So, those will definitely be very good for you. No, it's not road not taken, uh, Govind. It's not road not taken at all. Uh, what is common in road not taken? Govind, it's not road not taken at all. What is common in the disquieting music? by Sylvia Plath, The Starry Night by Anne, uh, Anne Sexton, Morning Picture by Adrian Ridge, and Musidis uh, Bjork's uh, Arts, right? Now, Musidis Box Arts, ye aapka ek tarah se hint hona chahiye. No, 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 no. They're not confessional poets. They're not confessional poets. They are, of course, some of them are, but, but 
ये आपको याद रखना है दैट डब्ल्यू एच ऑर्डन इज नॉट ए कन्फेशनल पोएट राइट ऑर्डन इज नॉट ए कन्फेशनल पोएट एट ऑल तो व्हाट इज कॉमन यस नेहा नेहा हैज गॉट इट राइट नेहा हैज गॉट इट राइट ठीक है यस मोटिवेशनल मशीन हैज आल्सो गॉट इट राइट वेरी गुड दे आर ऑल इंस्पायर्ड बाय पेंटिंग्स दे आर ऑल इंस्पायर्ड बाय पेंटिंग्स जैसे मैंने आपको कहा इसका इलैबोरेशन आप प्लीज अच्छी तरह से देखिएगा मैंने छोटे-छोटे पॉइंटर्स भी बना दिए हैं उस इलैबोरेशन के अंदर का सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट अ लिटिल बेटर तो ये आप डेफिनेटली इसको अच्छी तरह से देख लीजिएगा सो देयर ऑल इंस्पायर्ड ऑल दीस वर्क्स राइट वी वी नीड टू रिमेंबर देयर ऑल इंस्पायर्ड बाय पेंटिंग्स डोंट फॉरगेट दिस एट ऑल Moving on to the next questions, Charles Dickens' visit to the United States produced which work? My hands are in the pockets, as you are able to probably sense from my voice. My I got cold. I don't know how, but uh, I got cold. Maybe I think I didn't cover myself enough well enough yesterday. So could be. Okay, what is the right answer here? Okay. That's interesting. Absolutely right. Martin Chuzzlewit is the correct answer. Martin Chuzzlewit is the correct answer. Okay. Ah, may I ask you that Dickens' case of works? Take second. डिकेंस के जो वर्क्स हैं मैं उसका भी आपको एक चार्ट आज भेज दूंगी ठीक है वर्क्स ऑफ डिकेंस ताकि आप उसको भी थोड़ा सा अच्छी तरह से कर सके वर्क्स ऑफ डिकेंस क्योंकि कई बार ये क्वेश्चंस देखो पता है क्या होता है शेक्सपियर डिकेंस ये सब ट्रैप है बिकॉज दे आर राइटर्स हु रिटर्न यू नो देन वेरी प्रोलिफिक राइटर्स इन्होंने इतना ज्यादा कॉपियस कॉन्टेंट लिखा है बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस टू समराइज जैसे मुझे याद आया बच्ची ने अपने नोट्स भी भेजे थे मैंने उस बच्ची को भी फीडबैक दिया था देखिए जब एक राइटर आप कवर कर रहे हैं जिसके बहुत सारे वर्क्स हैं उनके बहुत सारे वर्क्स के नोट्स ऑफ कोर्स आप बना लीजिए लेकिन एक पेज पे लिखिए भी कि क्या क्या चीजें मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट है उस राइटर की ठीक है तो वो एक पेज पे आपको लिखा भी होना चाहिए दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज अ वर्किंग क्लास पोएट इसके अंदर यू कैन एक्चुअली यूटिलाइज योर एलिमिनेशन मेथड एज वेल एंड इसके बाद एक और क्वेश्चन है देन वी मूव ऑन टू यू नो द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सो हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज अ वर्किंग क्लास पोएट हु इज अ वर्किंग क्लास पोएट ओवर हियर मीनाक्षी मीनाक्षी ने सेंड किया था मीनाक्षी बच्चे थैंक्स सो मच आई विल आई विल बी रिप्लाइंग टू दैट राइट मैं आपका वो वाला आई थिंक उसके एक वीडियो भी हम बना सकते हैं सी बेसिकली आपको क्या करना है बेसिकली जो भी चीज आप बनाते हैं राइट जो भी नोट्स आप बना रहे हैं वन थिंग दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड इज दैट एक पेज में जो भी आप उस दिन पढ़ते हैं ना कंप्रेस हो जाना चाहिए ठीक है जैसे एक पेज में कुछ भी आपने जो जो स्टडी किया है दैट शुड बी कंप्रेस इन वन पेज सो दैट इट्स ईजी फॉर यू टू रिव्यू इट इज ईजी फॉर यू टू रिवाइज दैट बिकम्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है तो नोट्स की एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर होती है शुड बी एक्सेसिबल टू यू योर सेल्फ दैट इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Okay, what is the correct answer over here? Yes, Tony Harrison is the right answer. Iska bhi elaboration kafi interesting hai. Iska bhi elaboration jo maine diya, it's it's like really interesting. So ye dekh lijiye ka Benjamin, Gan, Graves, they're all important for any century for you. So they are happening. New science is a work associated with new science. Kisse associated hai? So new science is a work that is associated with who is uh, new science associated with? New science is associated with. न्यू साइंस साइंस नोवा ये बहुत ही फेमस वर्क है 1725 में आया था ये किसने लिखा है नो 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 स्वरित का सही जवाब आ गया है स्वरित इज गिवन द राइट आंसर स्वरित इज गिवन द राइट आंसर सो न्यू साइंस इज बाय बतिस्ता वीको राइट न्यू साइंस इज अ वर्क बाय बतिस्ता वीको तो जैसा मैंने आपको कहा वन ऑफ यू प्लीज डेफिनेटली सेंड मी अ मैसेज बाय 6 यू डोंट वैसे इसी क्लास के बाद आई विल सेंड द इलैबोरेशन ऑफ दिस राइट बट आपको ये सारे के सारे क्वेश्चंस का इलैबोरेशन मिल जाएगा उसको अच्छी तरह से प्रैक्टिस कीजिएगा जैसे कि मैंने आपको कहा चाहे वो क्लासरूम क्लास की वर्कशीट्स हम करें क्लासरूम क्लास की वर्कशीट्स Organized hain. Like I'm, I'm. We are not randomly going to be discussing questions from this week onwards. They're very well organized in terms of topic-wise. Some questions ko practice karenge. But YouTube ke ante kar jo hum bahut important questions ko cover karte hain. I want all of you to be a little more strategic while compiling those notes. Okay? Jaise aap maybe uh, classification kar sakte hain British important writers, American important writers. Is tarah se jaise bhi aapko karna, wo I'll leave it up to you. 
Okay, now coming on to the topic proper, the history of English literature. जैसे कि मैंने आपको कहा, इसके लिए मैं आपको एक PDF देने वाली हूँ, the history of English literature. ये मैं आपको Telegram platform पे दे दूँगी, Nisha Ma'am test book, English literature hustlers दोनों के अंदर I'll share it with all of you after this class, right? So elaboration मैं आपके साथ share कर दूँगी और साथ में साथ में ये PDF भी आपके साथ में share कर दूँगी, so that all of you so that all of you are able to uh, you know get an access go uh, go and and take a look at it so you easily and you will be able to cover it as well okay now please remember when we talk about your history of english literature uh, like i said this particular session is inspired by pearson book and outline of english literature so that you uh, you probably get clarity just give me like uh, uh, towards the end of the class i'll also show you the source book right and also show you the source book so that all of you uh, get clarity as to kitna sada uh, you know even next week jo pura ka pura aapke monday to friday ke sessions hai like i told you yesterday also john sutherland john sutherland is actually the most ignored writer main ye bhi aapko introduce karwa dungi ki what all we'll be doing next week so that you get more clarity and we need to definitely cover from these writers as well dekhiye ye jo aapka old english period medieval english period hai isko hum aajkal post classical period पोस्ट क्लासिकल क्यों कहते हैं पोस्ट क्लासिकल इसलिए कहते हैं क्योंकि इट्स कमिंग आफ्टर द क्लासिकल ग्रीक एंड रोमन पीरियड ठीक है तो ये जो पीरियड आपके क्लासिकल एज के बाद आ रहा है और for the sake of convenience, अभी मैं आपको ये दिखाने वाली हूँ French writers ने क्या किया है, French critics ने क्या कहा है कि जितना ज़्यादा आप compartmentalize करते हो, जैसे आप Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-Norman literature करते हो, तो वो गलत है। You should rather take it in a longer duration, understand certain trends that were there. There was basically archaic English that was being used in both the periods altogether. तो ये भी point आपके लिए बहुत ज़्यादा important हो जाता है। So this is the post-classical period that we are talking about, and what we really need to remember over here, we really need to be very mindful. We really need to remember over here, and this is something which is critically important. कि एक चीज़ तो हम लोग पढ़ते हैं कि भाई Anglo-Saxon literature और Anglo-Norman literature अलग categories हैं। जो सही भी है, ठीक है? आपका Anglo-Saxon literature early या old English period है, Anglo-Norman literature middle English period है, agreed। लेकिन आपका ये जो school है, that is called Annals school, ठीक है? आपका ये जो school है, that is called Annals school। Annals school क्या कह रहा है? ये historians कह रहे हैं that when you are actually, when you are trying to look at it, आप कह सकते हो pre Renaissance period, you can look at it in longe durée, longe durée, longe durée, historical लॉन्ग टर्म लुक को आप देखते हो जैसे फॉर इंस्टेंस व्हेन आई से पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म सो पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इज जस्ट नॉट राइटर्स व्हो आर राइटिंग आफ्टर द वर्ल्ड वॉर पोस्ट मॉडर्न राइटिंग्स आर आल्सो राइटिंग्स बाय डॉन क्योटे बाय यू नो डॉन क्योटे बाय मिगल डी सेवेंटेस और व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट the you know the story of Mr. Batman. So what are you able to largely say? You are able to see that postmodern tendencies are there. So basically, rather than saying that Anglo-Saxon period or Anglo-Norman period, a historical viewpoint is that you should look at them in longer duration. So it will be easier, right? So it will be easier to tell you how many periods and periods and classifications were all together. So now this is a new trend that we are able to see. Okay? So what are you able to look at? You are you are trying to say that rather than dividing, rather than dividing we should see what are the common features of both of these the common features emerge like you know you are able to see new forms of art just a anglo norman period may be i'm making a ballet is common logo clear or romances rich logo clear right uh so your chivalric tales for rich people war poems ke form may popular ho rahi thi and what were you able to see you were able to see kya ke jo ballet is a common logo ke liye was on the popular or it so here you know these kind of compartmentalizations these kind of distinctions they really help you a little better तो ये चीज़ भी आपको थोड़ी बहुत ध्यान में रखनी पड़ेगी। These are things that you will have to keep in mind, okay? Now what happened is that after the Greek period was over, when the Romans came in, Pax Romana, peace of Roman got disrupted, और Germanic tribes आ गईं। आपकी Angles, Saxons and Jutes तो थे predominantly। आपकी Germanic tribes start coming in, right? Like what do we study? We study that your your you know when we look at Henry Cavendish, he's a Scandinavian writer. 
Scandinavia, those are you know the cold regions of Europe, the northern part of Europe altogether that you are able to see. So, आपका जो Pax Romana concept है, वहाँ पे आपको ये चीज याद रखना है कि Pax Romana, right? Roman legions, Roman legions वापस चले जाते हैं. Roman legions वापस चले जाते हैं. And what are you able to see? Germanic tribes are coming in. Who are the original inhabitants of England? The original inhabitants of England are Celts, right? The Celtic civilization. Celts were the original inhabitants that we were able to see. So, आप क्या देख पाते हो कि पहले जो Greece और आपके Roman Empire के अंतर का जो पूरी की पूरी society flourish हुई थी, you were able to see peace of Roman peace of the Romans was actually disrupted altogether. That was basically called as your Pax Romana. So, you'll have to be a little more clear about it. Good morning, Ravi. Good morning, बच्चे. So please keep that in mind. And Roman Empire obviously कैसे disrupt हो गए military anarchy की वजह से they were you know there there were these powerful Germanic tribes that actually came in. This is what you were able to see. So the Greco-Roman civilization जो आपका था that really slowly and steadily gave way to a new identity formation altogether for people. So this is another thing that you are able to look at. Okay. So please remember that. Please keep this in mind because a lot of times these kind of questions are often asked to you. Um, you know these kind of questions are often there and you should be mindful about it you should be more aware about all of these things as well that how your Pax Romana breakdown or collapse ho gaya. original inhabitants Celts say Romans came and of course they disrupted you know their rule after that you were able to see कि फाइनली हमें वो ने थिएटर भी जब हम कर रहे थे अभी परसों की क्लास में व्हेन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट आयरिश एबी थिएटर वी बाइबिंग द कैलिटिक ट्रेडिशंस ऑल टुगेदर दैट इस व्हाट यू वर एबल टू सी राइट सो रोमन एम्पायर का कंप्लीट कोलैप्स हम देख पाते हैं एंड यू वर एबल टू सी द इमोजेंस ऑफ दिस जर्मेनिक Ostrogoths from Italy, the Visigoths from Hispania, the Franks and Burgundies in Gaul, Western Germany, Angles, Saxons, Jews, जो आप क्या रहे थे, right? अच्छा, we'll even talk about Beowulf. Beowulf actually becomes one of the first important works to emerge from this particular time, which is actually having Christian theme. Christianity भी आ रही है, fifth century B, fifth century AD में Christianity is also coming, where you're able to see that Saint Augustine is, of course, a very powerful leader associated with it. Conversion on kings and monarchs का हो रहा है तो Christianity because at the heart of it what is Bivol trying to tell you? Bivol is trying to tell you about transients of human existence कि आज जो भी हम लोग इतना worried हैं आप आप लोग इतना worried हैं don't take it like इतने worried हैं अपनी JRF को लेके इतने worried हैं अपनी assistant professor career को लेके इतने worried हैं अपनी research profile को लेके but at the heart of it is that our lives are very transient right that is a basic reality so Bivol has got a very Christian theme divided into two parts two major episodes वो Bivol के लाइफ में बता रहे हैं एंड दिस आर कॉल्ड रोमांसेस व्हाट आर रोमांसेस टेल्स ऑफ शिवलिरी Tales of chivalry are called romances, so you'll have to remember that part as well. Okay, I I will just go towards the later side so that you you'll be able to see this better, right? So when we are talking about Beowulf, जैसा कि मैंने आपको बताया, Beowulf के अंदर दो main episodes, ठीक है? दो major episodes आते हैं. अभी जो मैं आपको PDF पे भेजने वाली हूँ, Telegram पे, आज ही जाके at least the first two chapters. पढ़ लीजिएगा एंड बाकी यू नो इन ग्रेटर डिटेल वी विल बी लुकिंग एट टुमारोस क्लासेस वेल थोड़ा सा हम स्पीड पकड़ेंगे उसको so what are you able to largely see that आपका जो you know जो दो major जो दो major incidents हैं गीते शीरो विवोल्व के life के अंतर्गत that is something that you're largely able to see right that is something which comes across in a in a in a very big way so he's the son of Igilthro right and you know he's fighting he's killing Grendel Grendel is the descendant of Cain Cain and Abel Cain was the first murderer that you were able to see in in the Bible ठीक है He's been attacking Herogot, the hall of the Danish king, Horthagar. So, how does Vibul fight with this monster? He fights with the mother of this monster. And, you know, a lot of times you are able to see that now people are actually going to ask you a lot of questions also. So, again, you know, you have to remember this thing that how does a lot of these books, like for instance, when we talk about, you are able to see that people have started writing books from Grendel's perspective. 
Uh, so, so the monster's viewpoint is also something that uh, that is being spoken about over here. Uh, okay, Grendel's mother, who is sea woman, hai, right? She is also taking revenge, and uh, Beowulf is is definitely able to defeat them also. And second part, me, kya hota hai? Beowulf is again trying to fight, and this time he's trying to fight at a at a older age. Okay, and he of course fights because but he's become older, so he eventually dies also. Uh, but that is what where the Christian themes comes. Uh, the Christian theme is actually coming in in the wolf, right? Uh, so. It is just not an allegory of good and bad, right? It's just not an allegory of good and bad altogether. Because of course the poem is ending. Of course you are able to see that it's ending with you know uh, the the death of the hero altogether. But ये Christian commentary बहुत important है, right? ये जो Christian commentary आ रही है, and this is one of the most distinguishing features that you're able to see when you're looking at Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-Norman literature. कि they are actually associated with Christian themes. They are associated with Christian themes. ठीक है? So please keep that in mind uh... mm, which notes are you talking about literally pros have not sent any notes for pros have not sent any notes okay so please keep that in mind okay now other works show is time pay bahut zyada important the they were becoming extremely important they were becoming exceptionally important what are these other works that we are talking about we are having you know uh, we, we are having works like witsit dior kal main aapko manuscripts bhi bataungi because you know that manuscripts is actually a follow up of this so what are you able to see ki aapke pre christian age ke andar we are having works like works like witsit which is a far traveler dior dior's lament lament of the dior bhi abhi hum padhenge and you are able to look at that you know how uh, how you know when you are looking at witsit having three thulas three parts that are actually coming in all together so you know uh, yahan par suddenly you are also able to see that common man ka jo important stories and narratives hai wo bhi aapke aa rahe it's not that it's only talk about the kings it's only talk about the monarchs you're also able to see these uh, important works that are also coming in right you're also able to see the emergence of these important works that are coming in aapka lament of dior lament of dior was actually a very important work altogether what is lament of dior so important because it's trying to tell you about this minstrel right who has fallen out of favor and he consoles himself with 42 lines that are coming in right these 42 lines that you're able to see yourself Seven unequal sections. His sorrows passed away. So will mine. Right? Remember, वो बहुत ही famous line है. If he can do it or if she can do it, so can I. Right? This is exactly what we say. If he or she can do it, so can I. ये चीज़ हम लोग बार-बार देखते भी रहते हैं. So lament of the Dior, which said, uh, or or you know Dior. So all of these works that you're able to see, they're actually trying to talk about. So Dior, ah, ये एक तरह से अच्छा ये एक point क्या दर्पणा यहाँ पर, which actually becomes important that this particular Anglo-Saxon in period is also known for its elegiac verses there's a foundation batch we jab hum log karenge na anglo saxon period we we'll even be talking about excuse me the concept of elegiac verses elegiac verses are becoming very important and popular during this particular time period okay so ye cheez aapko yaad rakhna hai very good shabnam excellent excellent All right. Moving on to while there, I'll, I'll again uh, just uh, yeah, I'll make myself yeah. So when we are talking about when we are looking at while there, what are the things that uh, you know that that typically become very important? Uh, so which set we've looked at yours, the ment we've looked at right now. When we are looking at works like while there, while there ke under what are the things that are most importantly coming? What are the things that are prominently standing out for uh, for all of us? Uh, this is having two fragments and sixty three lines. Okay. Uh, acha ek baar. एक और चीज याद रखना कई कई एडिशन में जैसे अब अब आपका देवशेष ने क्वेश्चन पूछा था आंसर की चैलेंज करने का सो so, um, जब भी आप आंसर की को चैलेंज करते हैं यू हैव टू पे एन अमाउंट लाइक 200 जो आपका अमाउंट है 250 जो आपका अमाउंट है जो आप अमाउंट पे कर रहे हैं एंड यू यू आर एक्चुअली यू नो साइटिंग इश्यूज विद दैट वो सब टू साइट एविडेंस टू सपोर्ट दैट और उन केसेस में जैसे आपके जो ऑथेंटिक रिसोर्स बुक्स है जैसे ऑक्सफर्ड कंपेनियन हो गए सो इट्स ऑलवेज अ गुड आईडिया वैसे आपको डिफरेंट चेंजिंग पैटर्न्स मिलेंगे यू विल बी एबल टू सी दैट all together uh, but please be a little more mindful about these things okay all right 
so walden is there walden he is a word which is having two fragments all together uh, who was walden he was the son of a king of a quintin and he was uh, you know he was given up to attila the the hon and he became one of his generals all together uh, that is how the story is um, and and you know kind of fight ho raha hota hai they are attacked by silence whom walden defeated but received injury as well okay and uh, then then of course walder and hilton they continued their journey and they were finally even married so the element of chivalric ro romances even though walder is not a, a romance per se but it's definitely telling you about bravery it's definitely telling you about an entire story or uh, you know us time pe kya ho raha tha anglo saxon anglo norman ke period mein these uh, tales of glorified battle war poetry was very common uh, so you were able to see abhi hum dekhenge bhi we will be talking about war songs as well so people really wanted to know uh, you all see movies like uri etc so what are these movies trying to tell you they're trying to tell you about the military combat they're trying to tell you about the battle that we are doing okay so ye cheez aapko yaad rakhni padegi theek hai ye cheez aapko yaad rakhni padegi that's exactly what i'm saying the vishesh ke jab bhi aapka aata hai aapko validate karne ke liye authentic resources chahiye hote hain aap sun liya karo the vishesh sunta hi nahi hai ओके नाउ व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हेन वी आर लुकिंग एट वॉर सॉन्ग्स वॉर सॉन्ग्स काफी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो गए थे इवन व्हेन वी आर लुकिंग एट थ्योरी सो फॉर इंस्टेंस माय लेगो इज व्हाट इज शी ट्राइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट एंग्लो सैक्सन्स यू नो वॉर सॉन्ग्स में ही इनकी आइडेंटिटी छुपी थी वॉर सॉन्ग्स वर वेरी क्रिटिकली इंपॉर्टेंट एक स्पिरिट ऑफ नेशनलिज्म वाज गेटिंग इमर्जड राइट एक जो स्पिरिट ऑफ नेशनलिज्म है वो नेशनलिज्म की स्पिरिट एक तरह से डेवलप हो रही थी दैट इज वॉट वी वर एक्चुअली एबल टू लुक एट ओके सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड दैट इज वॉर सॉन्ग्स वर दी एडिफिस एल ई जी आई वर्सेज वर दी एडिफिस ऑफ दी एंग्लो सैक्सन पीरियड प्री क्रिस्टियन पोएट्री क्रिस्टियन पोएट्री वर्स दी एडिफिस ऑफ दी एंग्लो सैक्सन पोएट्री तो जब भी आप अपने नोट्स पे बनाते हैं आप अपने नोट्स में प्लेक कार्ड पे लिख लिया कीजिए प्लेक कार्ड पे लिख लीजिए एंग्लो सैक्सन पोएट्री ये चार कंपोनेंट्स बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ताकि वेन एवर यू गो एंड यू रिविजिट दैट इट बिकम्स ईजियर for you overall right so that is of course important now when we are talking about the war songs hamari kon kon se war songs are very important hamari kon kon se war songs are like really important jaise aapka battle of uh, brondey ya the battle of maldon all of these are actually important war songs that you are able to see battle of bonbey kiske bare mein bata raha hai it's telling you about the battle that was fought between english under the uh, athelstan the grandson of alfred king alfred jo tha and the danes under anulf right तो ये सारी की सारी कौन किसको सपोर्ट कर रहा है रिमेम्बर रुडिया किपलिंग सेइंग वर्ल्ड वॉर वन इज अ वॉर व्हिच वाज अ वॉर टू एंड ऑल वॉर्स ऑल टुगेदर एंड यू नो इट इज ट्राइंग टू सेलिब्रेट द द विक्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश राइट सो clearly you are able to see that they are trying to justify the legitimacy they are trying to tell you ke aisa nahi hai ki hum log aapko rule kar rahe hain you also need to understand you also need to be more aware about the fact that this is a rule that we got with great difficulty so spirit of nationalism ko invoke karna cha rahe hain they also want to tell you that okay you know this is what is happening at the back end so ye cheeze bhi aapko thodi bahut dhyan mein rakhni padengi when we are looking at the evolution of english when we are looking at the history of english overall uh, battle of maldon again you know again it's trying to tell you about how Uh, the Danes and the Bright North, the Danes. ये ये सब आपको याद नहीं रखना है, ठीक है? Uh, you don't really have to remember that who rejects the demand for tribute by the former English are defeated because you know some men flee, but partly also because Bright North's offer mode, his excessive pride in yielding grounds to Danes, his gesture of magnanimity. ठीक है तो ओवरऑल जो डीड्स जो जो बैटल्स वन है या बैटल्स लॉस्ट है लॉस के क्या क्या रीजन है रिमेम्बर क्वीन एलिजबेथ वाई दस क्वीन एलिजबेथ वेरी सक्सेसफुल वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन ऑफकोर्स रिलीजियस हार्मनी वो लेके आ रही हैं बट बिकॉज शी इज एबल टू डिफीट द स्पेनिश अर्माडा एंड दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू मेनी पीपल लाइक ब्राउनिंग लेटर ऑन द विक्टोरियन पोएट से विंड्स वर फेवरिंग हर बिकॉज इन सी बैटल्स विंड फेवरिंग यू इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट विंड्स फेवरिंग यू इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट तो ये भी चीज आपको याद रखनी पड़ेगी एंड बैटल ऑफ मलडून थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव पोएम्स ऑल टूगेदर ओके ओवरऑल कैसे लॉयलिटी आ जाती है 
So all of these war poets, war poetry, Battle of Barnbury, Battle of Muldoon, all of these war songs are like Lengonis uh, talks about, you know, it's, it's actually at the backbone. It's the backbone altogether that you're able to see. Achha, just like I have told you, elegiac verses, ho gai, war poetry, ho gai, pre-Christian and Christian poetry, ho gai, ye bhi aapka backbone hai. pre-Christian and Christian poetry is also the backbone. That is what you're able to see. So poetry jo hai, of old English period, early post classical period ye hum log cover bhi karenge we will be talking about so we will be doing the history of uh, poetry as well next to next week uh, tabhi aapko aur bhi zyada clear ho jayengi so jo poetry aati hai you know aapka pre christian poetry aur christian poetry mein divided hai and of course, you know, drop a pre-Christian poetry hai, uske andar you are still trying to be, um, you know, you're still trying to be very close to reality. Christian poetry may, for, you know, the, the so-called uh, virtues of Christianity become very important. Wo cheez ya aap dek pa rahe ho. Uh, aur isse pehle aapka pagan religion hai. Don't forget that, right? This is the pagan religion that we're talking about, okay? So please remember that. Now, when you're looking at Christianity, thik hai, Christianity mein do teen cheez hai, jo aapko yaad rakhni hai, wo ye hai that, you know, Christianity so please remember the conversion of English to Christianity was of course led by Saint Augustine who's talking about the city of God, the city of man altogether. Uh, Saint Augustine ne kaafi saare logo ko convert bhi kiya tha. Inho ne apne khud ki autobiography confessions likhi hai. And what does he talks about? This is exactly where Bunyan is getting his inspiration. So John Bunyan jo hai when he's writing Pilgrims of Progress when you're going from city of destruction to city of God, uh, par wo jo journey hai wo saint augustine se is inspired ho rahi hai because saint augustine kya keh rahe hain he is talking about city of man and city of god right he is talking about city of man and city of god city of god everybody wants to go over there so christianity plays a very critical role uh, ideas related to christianity start uh, you know start coming into picture now you are tell me who is famously called as the father of english learning father of english learning kisko kaha gaya hai Saga is a story. Satyendra Pal is absolutely correct. So, Venerable Bedi ko kaha jata hai. The father of English learning. Satyendra Pal got it absolutely correct. He's got it right over here. I'd like to reduce... Uh, uh, or I'll put myself over here uh, so that all of you can actually see this. So here you'll have to keep this in mind that Venerable Bedi, he is generally called, he's hailed as the father of English learning. Inko famously a title diya jata hai. He's famously called as the father of English learning. Bedi ko father of English learning bola jata hai. Please remember that. And uh, you know, he wrote more than 40 tracts that were written in Latin. Achha, ye cheez yaad rakta. Latin was a language that was officially used. Slowly and steadily you were able to see before you're moving on to English, then French was being spoken. This is during the Romans altogether that you are able to look at. This is during the Norman period that you are able to see the Romans ke time par hai. And finally, what is the language that is spoken? Your English, right? East Midland dialects say evolve ho ke aati hai aapki. Well, this is also something a history of English language ke under important ho jata hai, okay? Uh, so, uh, again, what are you able to see? His ecclesiastical history of English people, ecclesiastical history of English people, that is the most important work for the father of English learning, that is Venerable Bidi, okay? Uh, Who is famously called as the Anglo Saxon Milton? Kisko Anglo Saxon Milton kaha jata hai? Who is famously called as the Anglo Saxon Saxon Milton, Anglo Saxon Milton ka naam kisko diya jata hai? Who is famously called that? Who is famously called that? Uh, called that? Yes, everyone. Who is famously called as the Anglo Saxon Milton? Okay. Satendra Pal, good, uh, good try, good try altogether. That's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct, right? Cadmian is called the Anglo Saxon. Then Milton, right? Cadman ko kya status diya jata hai? Cadman ko status diya jata hai? Oh, he's being called as an Anglo-Saxon Milton, okay? Uh, BD is, of course, the father of learning, right? The father of English learning altogether. Uh, Cadman, of course, you know, he was a layman altogether. Cadman ki him. Seinwolf was the person who signed his works also. So Cadman, Seinwolf, right? All of these people, Venerable BD, all of these are major thinkers that you're able to see, writers who are coming during this particular time, okay? Who 
who is the only Anglo-Saxon poet who signed his works? I've actually given the answer over here. So who's the only Anglo-Saxon poet who actually signed his works? Signed his works, that means he gave his name to And Ben Johnson, jo the, he actually started doing that because during Elizabethan period, people were not really worried about signing or giving authorship. They were only worried about the money that they will get. But you were able to see that Anglo-Saxon, uh, sorry, uh, Ben Johnson becomes one of the classicists who says, no, I will give my name as well that is important Ravi Pandey, Satendra Pal, Satendra Tithi, very good Tithi, Satendra, bang on there, Devashish Monica, that is, that is Sign Wolf, right? That is Sign Wolf, okay? So please remember that. So what are you actually able to see over here? You are predominantly able to look at, you are predominantly able to see that Sign Wolf, right? Sign Wolf is one of the only Anglo-Saxon poets who actually gave authorship as well to his work. He was, he was signing off his works, he apne works ko sign off bhi kar rahe the. So I hope you are, you are able to see that Betty is the father of English learning. Anglo-Saxon uh, Anglo Milton, jo hai, that is something which we are calling Catman, Catman, the writer of him. And Sign Wolf is the person who's signing all of his works. So please remember that as well. Okay. Uh, so please remember, of course, uh, not for all of the works, but most of the works, that is what you're able to see. So poems are actually signed by uh, Sign Wolf. All of these poems are actually signed by Sign Wolf. Some of the poems like Christ to Juliana, The Fates of the Apostles, Eileen, ye sari ke sari authorship is attributed to Sign Wolf. Ye jo sari ke sari works ka jo authorship hai, that is attributed to Sign Wolf altogether. These poems are attributed to him, right? Or his school, uh, the, the, these works are like Adrenus, The Phoenix, The Dream of the Rod, Descent into Hell. Okay, uh, so all of these are kind of attributed, but these are properly signed by him. Okay, these are properly signed by him. Christ to Juliana, the fates of the apostles, Aline. These are particularly signed by him only. So please remember that. Okay, now also uh, here you will have to keep this in mind because you which is aapke liye zyada important ho jati hai. This is also something that you will have to keep in mind. Christ jo hai by Sign Wolf, right? When we are talking about the Christ by Sign Wolf, of the four of uh, Sign Wolf's poems that are there, uh, Christ is of course very important. Teen parts may divided hai. Nativity, that is birth. Even Milton is talking about nativity, right? The nativity or the birth of Jesus Christ. The second is talking about his ascension. And third, finally, what is it discussing? Third, finally, is discussing the doomsday, right? What is the third part discussing? The third part is actually looking at the doomsday. The doomsday stay something that the third part tries to look at okay uh, so please keep that in mind christ by sign wolf is of course important Eline is also another important work that you're able to see i'll come this side so that all of you are able to see it better Eline is telling you the story of saint helena the mother of constantine uh, constantine the roman emperor who converted to christianity okay and he transferred the capital of the empire you know uh, to byzantium which he renamed as constantinople remember sailing to byzantium by yeats is important. Uh, Eileen jo hai, Simon tells us about uh, Constance's visions uh, of the rod that he was getting on the day of the battle. Ye pura ka pura description aa jata hai. After the victory, he sends his mother Helena to Jerusalem to search for the original cross altogether. Uh, okay, uh, so so that is something that you're able to look at. Okay, uh, remember I I think yesterday only I was I was watching Rani Ganj if I'm not wrong, right? Which um which is based on the real story of Gil. So when they're taking out one man, the one man, you know what he's saying? Oh my God, I'll definitely never ever drink alcohol. And the minute he comes out, he's like, okay, where is alcohol? So, you know, when you are fighting an important battle, you're also making promises. Okay, I'll do that. But of course, here, he actually makes sure that he uh, keeps uh, to that particular promise as well. So, Eileen, the story of St. Helena, please remember that. This is also there. So, Christ, three parts were divided here, how it's talking about the nativity, the ascension, and the final doomsday that takes place. And Eileen is talking about St. Helena. Okay. Now, uh, what you were able to see is despite the flowering, despite the blossoming of such good variety of content, you were finally able to see that Northumbrian literature didn't really serve. Okay? Why didn't survive? Because obviously war battles fine, but a large majority of people have never seen it once or twice. If you are getting dishum dishum or you are army fights and military fights, you as an audience will actually lose heart. right? You don't want to watch that regularly. So what are we able to see? What are we able to look at? We are largely able to see that finally Northumbrian literature, jo aapka tha, this actually started actually dying. Okay. 
अब इसके बाद आप क्या देख पाते हो इसके बाद वे एक्चुअली मूविंग टू वर्ड्स योर मिडिल एजेस राइट वे व्हाट आर वी मूविंग टू वर्ड्स वे आर एक्चुअली मूविंग ऑन टू वर्ड्स द मिडिल एजेस पीरियड वे आर गोइंग टू वर्ड्स लाइक यू नो द 11th सेंचुरी ऑनवर्ड ऑल टुगेदर नॉट अंब्रियन लिटरेचर थोड़ा थोड़ा अपना डेथ डाट कर रहा है मोस्ट रिटन हिस्टोरियन ऑफ डीकम ब्रिटानिया हिस्टोरियन ऑफ डीकम ब्रिटानिया किसने लिखा है हु इज द राइटर ऑफ हिस्टोरियन ऑफ डीकम ब्रिटानिया जल्दी बताइए so this is a very important historian he's called jopri of monmouth okay he's called jopri very good prithi very good divya very good motivational machine very good devishesh so this is called jopri of monmouth okay he is the writer who is associated with historia regum britannia this is jopri of monmouth that we are talking about right this is jopri of monmouth that we are actually trying to talk about so he is the writer who is associated he is the writer who is actually writing right he is the writer who is actually writing historia regum britannia jopri of monmouth okay this is he is the writer of historia regum britannia historia regum britannia history of britain from the time of view of brutus right brutus the great grandson of aeneas to uh, cadwalder uh, so ye pura ka pura jo process hota hai please remember this also influenced layman's brute this influenced layman's brute as well layman ka jo brute aa raha hai that is a major source of inspiration so historia regum britannia a way to record works a way to record and and you know we will be talking about it also in greater detail uh So you have to be a little more careful about it. Now, Sir Thomas Malory, right? Malory and more. Uh, all of these are actually some writers that we'll be covering during the Baron Age as well. Okay, yeah, Malory. Us ke liye bhi important ho jata hai. But why are we talking about Malory? Is because you know, ये जो courtly law tradition आ रहा है, chivalry का tradition आ रहा है. That is something that blossoming you are able to see during Malory's time. इसका जो blossoming है, वो आप Malory के time पे देख पाते हो. Malory का Lee Mortar the author, right? Mortar, Mortar means death. Lee Mortardi Arthur was actually published by William Caxton. So Malory also is trying to get that fantasy tale, ka, right? That fantasy tale ka element. See what has historically, what has historically excited everybody uh, is the art of storytelling. Okay, you know this is how a civilization collapsed. This is what happened. So ये सारी story सबको पसंद आती है. So Sir Mal uh, Sir Thomas Malory is actually getting that element. That is the reason Malory was, uh, you know, uh, that is the reason Malory was so. important okay who introduced metrical romances when we are looking at metrical romances who who introduced metrical romances metrical romances kisne introduce kiye the who has introduced metrical romances who's the person who's introduced metrical romances everyone so metrical romances were introduced by metrical romances were introduced by Okay. Anyone wants to give it a try? Anyone wants to uh, give it a try? No, no, no. It's not Chaucer. It's not Chaucer. It's not Chaucer. It's not Chaucer. So please remember when we are talking about the metrical romance tradition, that is also something that starts during this time itself. Okay. Metrical romance, जो हैं ये Normans ही आप ही लेके आ रहे हैं. French tradition ही लेके आ रहा है. <coughs> Sorry. so what are you able to see metrical romance jo hai the normans the norman kings the normandy people the normans are actually getting it and it's of course becoming very popular what are romances these are tales of uh, chivalry honor or together that is something that you are largely able to see uh, yahan par damsel in distress right jisko kaha kya kaha jata hai it's it's a damsel in distress she is going to be preserved or or secured by uh, warriors tabhi aapko 20th century mein feminist writers ne undo kiya that woman can fight her own battles she doesn't needs a man in shining armor to come and save and protect her that is what we are able to see theek okay? hai so uh, please remember that please keep that in mind ye cheez aapko thoda sa dhyan mein rakhna padega okay uh, and you know a lot of times these things are of course becoming very important all right now when we are talking about kursa mundi theek okay? hai when we are talking about kursa mundi kursa mundi is also a word which aapke net exam mein bahut zyada pucha jata hai i don't know why there's a fascination so when we are looking at cursor mundi it's actually a pseudo history even jopri of monmouth technically pseudo history hai wo complete historical account nahi hai 
Okay, what is geography? Writings about saints. Graphy is writing. So when you're writing about saints, their lives all together. Uh, so the spiritual history is being covered in Cursor Mundi from the creation to the last day of judgment all together. Okay, it's divided into seven ages. Uh, look at these lines. Men, your men, justice for to there he and romances read in diverse manners. So it's, it's actually trying to capture the entire spiritual journey, right? The entire spiritual journey that <laughs> something which is so sorry that is something which is actually being uh being covered over here uh so you'll have to uh keep that in mind okay that that's interesting um uh, uh all right so, so uh you know uh, so I, ever since the bibling second episode has also come everybody is actually listening to a lot of these arabic songs as well and there's a uh there's a comment by aviran excuse me ma'am can you please teach in arabic the only thing that i know in arabic uh thanks to my nana because we worked in the gulf right for four decades is the counting so i would just know wahid itnen talata darba khamsa or when i'll do my etisalad recharge i know your jaifal araka me bi baka chaki so hazrat alam al muraba so that was basically a message where you put your pin card and she be telling you okay you know you'll have to put your card and then you'll get your recharge done so that you can call okay uh but <laughs> that's really nice i have a couple of my students who got placed at talabat as well so talabat is like the zomato of uh, uae uh but anyway that, that was interesting huh some of your comments are like really amusing all right now what are we able to see we are able to see that romances jo the they were addressing the rich people and ballets jo the ye common logo ko address kar rahe the they were addressing common people all together uh, so that is another thing that you are able to look at that is another thing that you are able to look at so uh ye please yaad rakhiyega ki romance is just very similar jaise restoration age mein bhi hum kya dekhte hain restoration age mein jo aapka closed theater hai the closed theater indoor theaters as it's called right the indoor theaters were for the rich people only right that is what you were able to see uh and ballets of course were there they were for the common people ballets were giving you insights about lives aspirations fears hope of all the common people what the common people were actually Uh, you know going through so that of course becomes important for you uh, now troubadours ke bare mein ye bahut important ho jata hai because troubadours are people who you know who are uh, minstrel poets they're the ones who are singing and and uh, traveling during the middle uh, ages uh, all together so you are able to see ki aapka jo troubadour uh, se associated poetry bhi hai ya troubadour se associated jo aapka writing bhi hai ya aapka aata hai older than havelock horn uh, you know uh, was the owl and the nightingale so again you know you you are able to see that ye, ye jo troubadours hai na ye jo troubadours hai they were making verses um and obviously when you are when you are trying to actually uh, speak to common people उनके लिए आप बना रहे हैं चलते फिरते आप बना रहे हैं अंडरस्टैंड सो थ्रूबर्स के जेनेरिक थीम्स के ऊपर होता था इवन राइट नाउ वेन यू कॉन्टेंट हाउ इज इट बी रीचिंग टू मास ऑडियंस कीपिंग इट जेनेरिक अगर आप स्पेसिफिक रखते हो जैसे नेट का कॉन्टेंट इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक एक सिलेबस है तो ऑब्वियसलीटरिंग टू पर्टिकुलर ऑडियंस इट्स राइट सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट यूल हैव टू कीप इन माइंड और राइट सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट now when you are talking about chaucer when we are talking about chaucer uh, chaucer is of course a very important person is come separately we cover karenge because you know chaucer deserves that understanding especially his tales you know the canterbury tales become important uh, so again you know when you are looking at gower langland these are the contemporaries inko bhi hum thoda sa achhi tarah se dekhenge he is developing the east midland dialect chaucer kya kar rahe hain chaucer is developing the east midland dialect and he is giving proper Form to English as the writing overall. That is what we are actually able to see. Okay, and of course, when we are looking at Chaucer, he his patron Gaunt the, his patron John of Gaunt the, who was the patron John of Gaunt was the patron John of Gaunt. Uh, John of Gaunt uh, was the patron, and that is the reason he's he's also writing the book of like you know one second. Yeah, John of Gaunt is the patron who's coming in. Uh, Philippa is you know the. the 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 so called uh, wife that he had she was a sister uh, of john of gaunt's third wife and that is how he was also having um, aristocratic so he was basically a bureaucrat of those times theek hai tabhi he is traveling he is going to france he is going to italy when he is going to italy he is meeting boccaccio and petrarch all together he is also going to france tabhi aap dekhte ho ke you know inke literature ke andar french period aata hai inke literature ke andar italian phase aata hai aur inke literature ke andar phir 
finally English phase ara hota hai. That is something that you are able to see. Okay. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Please remember that altogether his writings are developing. Uh, the Book of Duchess, which is an elegy written on the death of John of Gaunt, uh, John of Gaunt's wife Blanche. Right. Uh, so this is basically an elegy, threnody, monody. Okay. Ye ek elegy hai. It's a song of lament that you are able to look at. That is what you are able to look at. Okay. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, and and when we are looking at the middle period, you are able to see works like House of Fame, right? House of Fame, Troilus and Cressid. Uh, so all of these works are actually coming. Canterbury Tales is of course important. How the tales are actually coming in together. They're trying to piece together the, the entire society that you are able to see in England at the time. So Chaucer uh, ka development is very important. Hota hai. You are able to see that you know Chaucer is actually bringing uh, a new perspective overall. You are able to see new insights that are coming with the coming of Chaucer. In ke comparison, mein, in ke jo contemporary hai, William Langland, Piles Flowman is common people ko address. Karta hai. Chaucer ka a criticism kya hai? He was oblivious to the plight of the common man. Plight of the common man ko, plight of the common man ko wo nahi dekh rahe. He was unfortunately not looking at the common man's plight, right? He was oblivious to the plight of the common man and that was a major concern that you were able to see, okay? He sees a crowd expressing the varied life of the world altogether. William Langland, in detail. Gower is also contemporary. What were the three languages in which Gower was writing? So just like Chaucer, just like Chaucer, Gower was also having three important phrases, phrases in his life. What were the three languages in which Gower was writing? What were the three languages in which he wrote? Very good, yes. Trust relax, high seriousness, good. Okay. Yes, that's that's true. So when we are talking about John Gower, he's also called as Moral Gower, right? He's also considered to be the Moral Gower. Um Overall, as you're able to see, he was a friend of, you know, of Chaucer uh, as well. He wrote in three languages, French, Latin, and English, okay? He was writing in French, Latin, and English. So, this is the, the only difference. In Chaucer's case, case it was French and uh, Italian phase. But he was writing in English only, okay? But Gao was actually using all of these, uh, his works like, you know, uh, Mirror de Or, de Lorn, uh, Speculum Menditantis, Vox Clementis, right? All of those uh, uh, works that you're, you're actually able to see. Okay, all of those works that you're able to see. So I'll just uh, see whether you're able to look at it or not properly. No, I'll come this side so that you'll be able to see it better. Uh, okay, uh, so when we're talking about John Gower, when we're looking at John Gower, what are you essentially able to see? You're essentially able to look at a uh, Vox Clementis, Confessio Amantis, right? Uh, all of these works, how are they coming? What are, what are they actually trying to produce all together? So John Gower, Langland, ye waise hum log in detail, we will be looking at the three of these writers okay, when we do the Age of Chaucer. But today, our main purpose is just to introduce you to you know how English is actually developing and what all happens. Uh, our first part, me, I intentionally wanted to keep it a little lighter. I intentionally wanted to make sure that, you know, we were keeping this overall a little lighter altogether. Uh, so that was the main purpose. But having said that, take okay, one second. Okay. Uh, so, so this is this is of course uh, something that we will be talking about in greater detail as well in the coming days. But we were just trying to make sure that all of you were able to understand. So, what have we basically talked about to sum up? We have looked at the Anglo-Saxon period. We've looked at the developing. हम लोगों ने starting में कह दिया था कि Anglo-Saxon, Anglo-Norman को एक साथ पढ़ना is a little better for the sake of convenience, right? But of course, there are different uh, uh, compartments that both of them are actually divided into. So that is something that you're largely able to see. Okay. Uh, and you know you you've also seen that how um, you know what all uh, important works are coming in all right so ye cheez aapko thodi bahut yaad rakhni padegi this is something that you'll have to uh, keep that in mind also Right. Uh, these are also certain things that you'll have to keep in mind. Devishri, aapka LR to I must say, thoda sa, you know, I'm, I'm practice karna padega. Monday to Friday, aaj Friday hai kya? Right. Devishishna. Devishish is, aur aap please apna aap dekhiye Devishish, aap, aap, aap nai bachi nahi hai, hai na? 
आप बहुत दिन से हैं बच्चे सो अब आप प्लीज थोड़ा सा अपना ऐप वगैरह अच्छे से देखना आपको ये नहीं पूछना चाहिए होता आपको सबको बताना चाहिए कि कौन से दिन क्या क्या क्लासेस हैं राइट यू शू वी शुड नॉट बी टेलिंग यू दैट एट ऑल सो यू शुड बी लिटिल मोर केयरफुल अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स ओके ना वट आर ओल्ड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एक्चुअली कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओल्ड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर लेट वी सेड क्रिस्टियन राइटिंग्स बिब्लिकल ट्रांसलेशन आपकी एंग्लो सैक्सन क्रॉनिकल्स नैरेटिव जो आ रहे हैं दैट इज वॉट इज एक्चुअली लुकिंग एट एंग्लो सैक्सन क्रॉनिकल भी एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क है दैट यूर एबल टू लुक एट ओके एंड वी ऑफकोर्स सो दैट यू नो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर वर्क आर ट्राइंग टू ट्रेस दी ओरिजिन एंड सब्सिक्वेंट डेवलपमेंट दे आर ऑल्सो बींग कवर मिडिल इंग्लिश पीरियड भी आपका आ जाता है मिडिल इंग्लिश पीरियड के अंतर्गत वी आर एबल टू सी दैट यू नो द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दीज राइटिंग्स ब्लॉसमिंग ऑफ द नॉर्मल लिटरेचर रोमांसेस भी आपकी एक तरह से प्रॉपर्ली ब्लॉसम होती है बट मिडिल इंग्लिश पीरियड में क्वांटम इतना ज्यादा नहीं है जितना आपका एंग्लो सैक्सन पीरियड में हो रहा है and finally you are actually moving on to the arrival of chaucer right finally we are actually going towards you know how how chaucer is actually coming in i'll, I'll just come this side so that you're able to review that this is what we talked about and finally what are you able to look at finally we are able to see that your um, your age of chaucer comes in ek important cheez yaad rakhiyega ki abhi bhi what are you able to see and this is the parting uh, thing yahi se we'll be continuing the next 60 minutes and covering the entire broad spectrum all together acha before i do i'll also show you the two resources i told you or, sh- or should i show it to you tomorrow only okay maybe i'll i'll show it to you tomorrow only when we start the class so that it's a little easier for all of you to grasp that uh to again religious writings nationalistic writings war poetry us time bhi bahut zyada popular hain ye sare ke sare common features ho jate hain aapke old english period ke and aapka middle english period ke as well आज आपका होमवर्क है आप कोई भी बुक रेफर कर रहे हैं आप रोटलेज रेफर कर रहे हैं तो रोटलेज इज फाइन उसमें आप एक बार गो थ्रू कीजिएगा ये दो जो एस्पेक्ट्स हैं मैं कल आपको रिसोर्सेज भी दिखाती हूँ पियर्सन आउटलाइन ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वेल एज इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वन ओ वन ये दोनों के दोनों हैं और मैं आपको पीडीएफ अभी भेज रही हूँ प्लीज वो पीडीएफ को गो थ्रू कीजिएगा द फर्स्ट टू टू थ्री चैप्टर्स उनको अच्छी तरह से रीड कीजिएगा बिकॉज नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी मिनट्स में थोड़ा सा हम लोग एक्टिवली थोड़ा स्पीड में बढ़ने वाले हैं थोड़ा एक्चुअली में और स्पीड में वी आर गोट बी इंक्रीजिंग द स्पीड ऑल टूगेदर फाइन प्लीज रिव्यू ऑल ऑफ दिस इन केस देर एनी अदर डाउट्स दैट यू हैविंग प्लीज टू लेट मी नो अबाउट इट आई कैट विद ऑल ऑफ यू टुमारो एट ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक इन केस ऑफ एनी अदर डाउट्स डू लेट मी नो टुमारो इज द लास्ट डे ऑफ द ईयर डू ट्राई टू मेक योर न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन इज वेल की आपने क्या क्या करा है डिसाइड फॉर द अपकमिंग न्यू ईयर आई लव टू नो अबाउट दैट इज वेल फाइन ग्रेट आई कैट विद ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ टुमारो टेक गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्स एंड इन केस ऑफ एनी अदर डाउट प्लीज टू कीप यू पोस्टेड अबाउट इट फाइन चलो गॉड ब्लेस Let's take care, everyone. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Motivation machine, Satyendra, Devashish, Divya, Himanshi, uh, Neha, Shilpa. Uh, राइट रवि लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म के लिए ओरिजिनल टेक्स्ट को पढ़िए प्लीज राइट लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म के लिए जितना ज्यादा आप ओरिजिनल एंड ओरिजिनल टेक्स आर वेरी सिंपल उससे बेहतर कोई बुक नहीं होगी लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म के लिए फाइन एंड फाउंडेशन बैच में आई डोंट नो इफ आप सीनियर और नॉट वी विल बी कवरिंग लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म ओनली स्टार्टिंग तभी मैंने वो जो अच्छा एक और चीज है जैसे आपका फाउंडेशन बैच है फर्स्ट यूनिट जैसे कवर हो गया था तो एक साइकिल प्रोसेस है नेक्स्ट यूनिट से नेक्स्ट बैच आपका स्टार्ट हो रहा है तो यू कैन टेक अ लुक एट ऑल ऑफ दो डिटेल्स एज वेल fine thanks everyone thank you minakshi uh, thanks anjali sujata sujata minakshi supratim ravi 